Hoi, Brina. I am just getting my stupid stuff set up before I start. There's always something I need to do before I actually go live. This is actually the Subnautica music. This game has really good music. Hi Alex. Right, should all be good to go now. So here is our little escape vessel where we ended last time and oh it's night time our brand new submarine welcome aboard captain see look it even calls me captain Brina I am a captain so we were looking for Right, there's the radiation. So we need all the radiation stuff on. And we've got a radio signal. That was fast. Oops. Accidentally ran myself over a bit. Let's see what this says. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Right, let's get some stuff together. Because we've got rescue incoming. So we've got some salt there. With the salt, we need some of this stuff and we can make purified water it's going to be a pink submarine eventually Brina Kelly got there first so when I can change the colours on it and stuff it's going to be pink so we'll make bleach and then from the bleach we can make Purified water, or disinfected water. We need to stock up for this rescue. We need some food as well, so is that... So that's the high priority passenger one. That's the landing site. One and a half kilometre away. Think. We'll look for some more salt to make more water. And I'll do some right here. A little submarine is something. All right, Dave. We have just been given a rescue signal over that way. So we're going to be here in 40 minutes. So I am gathering supplies to go and get there. 
Oop. Just run into all the little fish. Um, nah, the spaceship is screwed. Like, which direction is it in? Is it that way? Yeah. No chance of, repli of fixing that thing. It sort of exploded last time and it's leaking radiation everywhere. So I'm going to go and have a look around it at some point because I do have like a radiation suit. But for now I'm going to go and see, what, see if we can get rescued. Yeah, definitely a write off. That's quartz, that's quartz. I'll just run into more fish. So, head back in this direction. And we will make some more water and we will make some food as well. Or stash some fish for food and then head over to that island. So, oh, yeah, we need more of the coral stuff, don't we? Where is it? There. So, this will get us. More bleach, sodium hypochlorite bleach, and that gets us even more water because we get two at a time from this stuff, so it's worth searching it out. So, how much water do we have now? Yeah, we've got plenty there. Now we need to get hold of some food. Surprised I've not found any food plants yet though. Just grab all these fish. Your food. Oh cool, it gives us a little marker for our submarine as well. I still not know kind of where they are on the inventory. It's got to be somewhere where I can... There. So we'll make you more visible, we'll make you yellow so you stand out. Food! Nice that this handy fabricator thing cooks stuff for us as well. So, if we go here, we've got plenty of food. We'll get a couple more of those. I don't think so, Brina. I think it's going to be fish, fish, and fish. a bit more titanium now. So if I have the full recipe it just gives me titanium. That would come in useful if I... Oh look, more of them. Come here. Come here. More food. Get back here. There. We'll get at least one more for the journey. We 
we've already been to one bit of dry land. And they've said that is a landing site, but it's in the other direction to where we went before. So I want to see what's there. So, back this way. And then we will get in our little seam off and head on over. See what we can find along the way. We have the big tank yet. Got the high capacity. We, there was a super high capacity one we got a recipe for. Um, cook these two first. So we got plenty of food now. And that high capacity. Scanner, survival knife, pathfinder. So the habitat builder was the one we wanted. We've got a battery. We've got a computer chip, do we? Yeah, we've got a computer chip in here. So the last bit we needed for building a base was the wiring kit. What do we need for the wiring kit? Wiring kit was just silver. So that was sandstone we needed for that. So we'll have a look for some sandstone on the way to that rescue place. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because even if it gives me the option to leave, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stay here and build a base. Help. That's that bit of the ship I explored last time. So we'll just head in this direction. Um, it does. I've been attacked a couple of times already. Like there's in these tunnels and stuff where I've had to go to get sulfur and things like that. I've been attacked by little exploding fish. There's like big barracuda style things. Um, there was an angry looking shark with a load of teeth around here. That bastard. That bastard came after us last time. And there are other things as well because one of the radio things we found said they were attacked by a very large fish. So we need to head in this direction. Yeah, I've been told it's quite similar to like how No Man's Sky worked. These things, however, are friendly. These are reef backs, they're called. And they're like gigantic manta rays, but they just swim around slowly. And they got stuff growing on them. Yeah, there's always a bigger fish. Oh, look, a pod. Is this a pod we've been to? It isn't, I don't think. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Where have we? Have we been here? Got lead. We haven't. And flares. And the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you'd drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oops. 
Um, not that I've seen Brino, but we are supposed to be in like a specialised futuristic diving suit. Like the thing that we're in is supposed to be survivable in, in pretty much any environment. Granted, we've been. I've already been down further than 200 meters. See, that's the Barracuda thing I was talking about. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, we are, because we've got an all two canister on our back. Is this land? Or is this just. It is, it's land. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have decompression as a mechanic. Like, it has compression, like, as you go further down, you use more oxygen and things like that. And stuff starts to break properly. Lithium. And another radio signal that we can't just hear right here. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Yeah, we should be getting nitrogen bubbles everywhere. But apparently not. <gasps> Building. So what is this landing site? Is it literally here? Cool. Let's go look at them. those little spider things again. They were on the other land. Get away. Piss off. Right, so some sort of light. I've got paper. I need a tablet of some kind. There's a broken one. Scan. Carbon based device is lighter than it looks. Features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Alkyroth and Nixir indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. Far beyond Federation levels, there's no obvious way. <gasps> Might be alien then. Alien stuff. And is likely alien in nature. Power is rooted by the terminal to the nearby force field. Good chance. It functions like a regular lock, only requires the correct kind of key. So. Oh, those are lights. And a tree. Edible. Tree is edible. <clears throat> Can't count the number of times I've watched Waterworld. It used to be one of Kelly's favourite films. That tree actually makes pretty decent food as well. Can I scan one of these? No. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached <laughs> statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Got a tablet. 
Let's go inside. We will have a look further up there later. Brino, you're terrible. She's gonna kill you for that. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Scan all the things. Huh? Or scan nothing. What's this? Unknown language. Attempting translation. What is it? You're just random plants. Terminal data. Inside facility. It's likely a solid state computer. There's nowhere clear to clear way to interface with it. Likely the alien species which nine this technology evolved a genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. So I may need to do more research before we can read these things. I've just changed my setup a bit, move things around. What else do we have? We have a mysterious green box. What are you? Ion cube. Green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and unprecedented ability to show huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Suppose it's been suggests it's been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. It's about the power of a nuke. Or a small nuke, I should say. It could be released in a controlled manner, used as batteries. I will take that, thank you. Yeah, pretty much I can see the door where I'm looking this time. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Another cue. Thank you. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Oh, so we're on the enforcement platform. Uncon the facilities of known construction materials are identified as an ultra hard non reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off world materials. No indication that we damaged, destroyed by any available means. So there's a control room in here somewhere as well. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing <laughs> the control room in the lower Oh, section. it's an elevator. That one like Gravelis from Halo or something. Plop. Do we have a pool as well? Oh, it's a submarine bear. That's definitely a submarine bear. That must bleed outside. 
So there's an underwater entrance to this place. Now what's in here? A gun! I want a gun. Strong resemblance to human weaponry from in form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that build this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed by the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is they consider defending the facility a necessary precaution. No obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Ah. I will come back and get it later. Another cube, thank you. I will take all the cubes. What is this way? Is this a Stargate? Alien Arch. Ceremonial, religious, industrial, advanced transportation. I bet you that's a Stargate. There'll be some way to turn it on. Hello! Hello, it's you. So that's where my cube was. Let's have a look up here. Purple thing. Is that another tablet? Uh, we'll take the tablet. Yeah, it does look kind of a bit like the old people places. This thing looks angry. <laughs> it's a doomsday device. Contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it's malfunctioned. Bye, Bart! We have found alien stuff. This seems to be like some sort of alien facility. Scans indicate the facility's control room. Light control room. The story. So somebody is supposed to be coming to rescue us in like 15 minutes. But I found this alien facility so I am exploring it while I wait. So far we have found alien cubes which can be used as some sort of energy source somehow. Found a couple of computers but we couldn't translate them. And we found this thing. Energy core. Device houses energy equivalent to a hundred megaton nuclear detonation. Channel through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the gravitational pull. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like a gun. Power is routed via attached terminal, allowing for the device to be activated if necessary. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Right, let's turn you off. How do I turn you off? Ow. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. Infected? This planet is under quarantine. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system oh, is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. I've got space aids, Dave. Background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Right, we need to like 
radio those people coming to rescue us, otherwise they're going to get shot out of the sky. Because I'm pretty sure that thing was describing a turret when I scanned it. Um, which way did we go? Is it this way? It's this way back to the elevator, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Run! Oh no, my radio on my pod doesn't work. It only works inbound. Um. Hi, Beth. Fuck, I have it here, Beth. So, what Beth sent me. I have a tiny, tiny happy octopus. And he can also be tiny angry octopus. So he's going to be my mascot for this. I just need to find one of my own to put in my base. Hi Manu! Yeah, angry octopus for Dark Souls. Yeah, I had no idea who it was from when it arrived. Right, we need to get outside. It was this way. <laughs> Sneaky octopus. So we'll call him then, we'll call him Sneaky. I was trying to think of a name for him. Hi Sherry. We found the tablet thing up this way. Have a look further up here. Huh? Huh? So there's our crashed ship. It's absolutely screwed. Our pod is in that direction, and there is more land. I think it's that way. Oh, that looks like a path that goes round. Sneaky peeky. Is there anything down here? You're one of the things that produce hair, aren't you? No, it's a gel sack. I already have one of these. Make aerogel. That is useful stuff. Spider. Ah, he's gone. <gasps> they can climb on walls. Get some more tree to eat. Yeah, I have one from a cave I went into earlier on, following one of the beacons. I've got some rubies as well. I have not played this game since it was like... Oh, killed it. I have not played this game since it was in alpha. 
and it was massively different then. Like, titanium was about the only resource there was. If I have a torch on me, does this thing still work as a torch? It does. Get out of it. Dead. Another spider. What's this? Oh, lithium. We had some lithium before. That was the other thing in the cave that we found. Hi, Trua. Diamond. We needed diamond. The property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Cheeky bastards. So we have a diamond. I think we needed two for the thing that we found. I'm just going to eat these trees while I'm here. Yeah, Sherry lied to me. It's not all underwater. This is in fact the second time that we've found land. There's another tablet over there. How do I get to it? That sounded like another spider. There's one. Two. Get out of it. Just give me a gun. Give me that weird looking alien gun that we found. Oh, inventory is full. Um, get rid of titanium. We got shit tons of that stuff. Is that another spider on my face? We will take this lithium. And we will take this. More diamond. We needed two diamond on that recipe thing, so... Can't even remember what the recipe was now, I just knew, knew that it needed two diamonds. And we are on top of the mountain. Oh, uh, more spiders. Make our way back down there and get rescued, shall we? Or watch this thing get shot out the air, as I am suspecting is going to happen. Considering the uh, the message thing we saw, or the message thing we read, I should say, basically said that facility is a big gun. Sherry always lies. The fact that Sherry claims not to lie is in itself a lie. Is there anything else around here? So we've got that tree. Are there any other useful plants?
I've got to remember what direction this is as well. So we are... Is that south, southwest? So... Yeah, north, northeast from our pod. Oi, spider. Dead. Oh, at least there's plenty of these trees around. So I can come back here for food if I need it. Come here. No worries, Trevor. This isn't dong weighing, it's sand. You find it on most beaches. Right, that ship should be here in a minute. We shall see it die horribly, because I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen now. Because it mentioned Depends which beach you go to. So yeah, it mentioned on one of these things that it was it basically called it a gun. Oh, we've got Facility different locations. Cave system with extensive south southwest of the enforcement platform. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon that thing's just gonna be a giant turret, isn't it? Yep. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? There they are. Hold on. No turning back now. Say goodbye. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course! Set thrusters to full! Ooh. There you go. Fucked. Well, there goes the rescue. Yeah, I was expecting it to shoot them, not completely obliterate them. Bet that's what happened to our ship as well, you know. Got shot by that thing while we are in orbit or something. Um, yeah. So, building your base then. <laughs> so, that one we've not been to yet. That one we've not been to yet either. But yeah, they got great. Oh yeah, I think this needs repairing a bit. Do I have the repair thing with me? I do, but it needs power. Um, you do not need power at the moment. So 
will take the battery out of you, put it in this, and repair my submarine. Um, I don't think so, I didn't see anything fall down. down there. Another one of those angry sharks. Oh, it's a giant one of the floating thingies. There is a broken bit of ship. Piss off you. Angry sharks. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Cyclops engine. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. <gasps> That's a big submarine. Right. Tell you what, my inventory is full. So I will dump stuff back at base and then come back here. So this is really close to the diamond. It's like just off the side of it. Oh, so that's part of our ship then. Not the other ship that just got nuked. So, plan is... Get back to the pod. Start building our own base, which I need a bit of silver for. Then go and have a look around that thing. So I think the diamonds I needed was for the the cutter thingy, was it? This one I've already been to. Yeah, it is. So yeah, the plan is get my base builder thingy, start building a base, and then go and explore that wreck that was the Aurora and see what we can find in there. See if we can find some other people as well. So we've got a couple of radio points as well. We've got a high priority passengers remains. So they're already dead so we can leave them for now. And that was the rendezvous point for survivors. But I really want to go and have a look at the ship. See they're the little floater thingies. It's that floating island had like giant ones of those on it. And then, we just got that thingy from the alien place, didn't we, saying that there were other facilities to look at. So we need to go and look for other facilities. Radio signal. Play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. That doesn't sound good. 
we'll eat some more plant. And then... Oh, it's rotten. Oh, I left it too long. Stick you in the water. Drop, drop. Drop. And... Got plenty of disinfected water, so we'll drink some of that. Yeah, there are mermaids, Kelly. I saw one earlier. Um, where was it? Is there any near here now? I will show you a mermaid shortly. Anyway, base builder thingy. Oh, we can actually build these. That's handy to know. Um, oh yeah, I needed silver for that. What was it I needed the diamonds for? This, laser cutter. Battery, titanium and cave sulfur. So we'll go and get the silver first. So we'll swap things around a bit. So, diamonds, lithium, alien crystals, I've already got lead, another gel sack, and the tablet that we found, it can all go in there. We'll make that lead into some salt into more water. with bleach. So we are back to the survival bit now, or trying to survive. So. Got some more water. We need silver and what was silver in? Was it sandstone for silver? Oh yeah, we've got the other alien facilities to look at. Right. View. Blueprints. Cyclops. So that's the big submarine we need to get bits. That's the angry spiders. Uh, geological. So, titanium and copper, lead, silver, and gold. So, we need more sandstone. Let's go looking for sandstone. And crash into some more small fish along the way. You are limestone. You are the other cave that I want to explore at some point. But I need things that let me go deeper. Like the giant oxygen tank. Occasionally it lags a bit when you get in and out of the submarine and that sandstone. It lags a bit when you surface sometimes as well. Silver. Need one more piece. Um, I don't think so. 
exterior of the multi-purpose room, zero out of two, so no I haven't. I'm going to have to find that as well, aren't I? another egg. Oh no, coral shell plates. Ah! Biting fish. Right, so I'm going to need to find the multi-purpose room. Yeah. But great, we'll get the we will make the cutter then and go and explore the ship. Gold. Other engine fragment and whatever this is battery you go in nah I'll find it myself I will do some exploring sand dunes or something. Is that another engine part? Are you scannable? No. You do not look friendly. What the fuck are you? Yes, follow me. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's leaving. <sighs> so you were east. Yeah, that thing will fuck right off. Diamonds, battery, titanium, and cave sulfur. Do I have any cave sulfur still? Yes, I do. And then here's my two diamonds. And we now have laser cutter. So now we can cut into the stuff as well. Take the knife out. We'll put gold, silver, and lead. And a bit of titanium in there. We'll grab some food. 
and then we shall go and explore the ship because I want to explore the ship. Let's see what's there. Drop this. Drop some of you because there is shit tons of titanium about. Um, no. When I played it in the alpha, the furthest you could get was getting onto the aurora. And the aurora was kind of locked off at that time, so you couldn't even explore the inside. Which I know is something you can do now. But there were loads of stuff different in the alpha, so like... Oh, are they the rotten ones? Yeah, they are. Like, so... Getting the Seamoth in the Alpha took about 10 times the materials it took for me to get this one. And. Yeah. I think, yeah, that was about as far as you could get. Like, you got. The facility wasn't there, like, the alien facility we were just at. wasn't there in the alpha. Oh, another radio message. Um, you could get onto the, you could get to the Aurora, but you couldn't actually get inside it. And there were a couple of the Leviathans in the game, like the thing that we've just seen. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, we've got a life pod to inspect. We are topped up on food. I should save because I forgot saving was a thing. And then. Oh, yeah. This thing apparently has storage somewhere. Access upgrades. Or apparently not. Yeah, this is night. I am playing on an Xbox One. My PC, unfortunately, is not good enough to run games like this and stream at the same time. Not until I've saved up a decent amount to upgrade it a bit anyway. So there is the ship. And some broken bits. And a box. More water. Oops. Let's try not to beach myself. The day night cycle in this game is also really fast. Another engine fragment. So we can make the engine for the giant submarine. Or oh, you're just one of the angry sharks. Oh, thanks for the follow, it's you. More random bits of metal. Can't see any way into the ship yet. 
more broken bits off the ship. region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. So she said fix it. And it's having big ass earthquakes as well. Surely I can fit through one of these gaps. Can I just swim through? Not. Or do I have to go further down? Welcome aboard, Captain. This looks like a gap. This is a gap, and we are in. Do I remember to bring that fire extinguisher with me? I did. This thing shaking constantly is not filling me with confidence. any way at all. Unless I'm just being oops. Unless I'm just being dim. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Cool. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. I have both of those. This looks more like it. There's even some angry spiders around here. Oi. Get away from my fancy submarine. Stop it. 
stay dead. We have a box. First aid kit. Another spider. Another dead spider. Yeah, there's a bunch of them over this way that should get ignored. What is in this direction? Leave me alone. Right, so. I am going to kill these things just so they stop jumping at me. Because they're annoying me. There. Three hits to kill. More water. <laughs> Do you know what they remind me of? Remember that remake of Lost in Space they did? The film that had... What's he called? Joey from Friends in it. Because they had like... Horrible Scans spider I'm gonna have to kill a few of these. Ugh, oh, they've been eating people. But yeah, that Lost in Space film that had Joey from Friends in it had horrible spider monsters in that and they looked like this. This thing sounds like it's gonna shake itself apart. Spotted any way in yet? I'm looking for one. Huh? Unless I'm being dim and I've just gone right past it. It just seems to be f oh, full of angry spiders. somewhere that I'm not seeing. But I assume there'd be something here because of the little med packs and stuff it gives you. I just can't see where. So you're all just fire. Ah, oh, they're not. That looks like a doorway over there.
Have I found a way in? Make sure this thing's dead first. Looks like it. Fire extinguisher. Another first aid kit. Might as well top up. Door! Yes. Quick fire extinguisher. There. And we're going to need the cutter at some point as well, aren't we? So, fire safety kids always aim at the base of the flame. Sure it's all gone out. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power, unable to remotely download black box data. Oh, propulsion cannon, that sounds cool. Or it has scanner gun. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. So we've got cargo bay that way, administration this way. Cyclops engine blueprint. Data downloads there. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Yeah. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Yeah. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvy. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Take the poster and the prawn suit. Integrating new PDA data. Furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship, carrying a phase gate bound for the Ariadne arm. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase jumps through nine different Transgo authorities, and arrive on the far side of the Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system apparently 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment in the absence of existing infrastructure in the region. The vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outnumbered a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. So we're basically We've basically been sent here to make 
but is essentially a stargate. So, got a cool poster from that room. Let's go this way to the cargo bay and get this battery. Nothing bad ever happens opening a Stargate. I don't think I can even get this way. Can I jump it? Maybe. Yeah, I can. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, but it works, so I'm doing it. Or maybe I am. That looks easy enough to jump back over. Do not match any known offensive technologies. I can't just cut this open. I'm actually going to need to type in a code. I am. Um, um, codes and clues, notes to sell. Finally, in open space, we cross the gap to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships and all phases. Fancy a phase gate, so we try it. Cargo bay code 1454. There we go. It's not cheating if the game lets me do it. Cargo bay. A proper big cargo bay as well. Found to be more cool stuff in here. Very nice scanner. Don't like that though. I feel like I'm gonna get zapped any second by that thing. Let me drive the forklift. I want a forklift truck. Gimme. Anything else here? Oh. Never mind, this thing is empty. So, do I have another fire extinguisher? I do. on this side. That fire hurt as well. <coughs> Explore the rest of this bit. With me scanner. Scan everything. Everything there. Ooh. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. 
Ah, uh, it's just an advert. As if all these cargo things are oh, container. I can say as if all these cargo things are empty. But we've got a couple of bits. There's a ladder as well, but it's blocked by fire. And the ladder does nothing. What about this? Can I slide down this? Or can I just walk down it? I was hoping to find more useful stuff in the cargo bay, but apparently not. Ooh, a fish. Ah, ah. Let me go. Angry leech like fish. Right, what have we got here? I am on the big crash ship, Dave. Um, oh, repair tool. I still have that with me somewhere. Might need a battery in it. Oh no, it's got charge. Yeah, I uh, made my way onto the big crash ship that we came in. So I am exploring that for stuff. Oh, that's the thing I've already got, isn't it? Oh well. Oh! That looks like an upgrade. Depth module. Is that going to let my Seamoth go further down? Yeah, it does. I will drop the titanium because we have shit tons of titanium. But that means our little tiny little Seamoth submarine can now go deeper underwater. So we've got the drive room. And whatever is that way. Let's go to the drive room. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. No, I'm going to do it. So that's what trapped smoke looks like. What's that? <gasps> Fuck is that thing? What are you? The fuck was that? That looks like an alien. Warning, local radiation. At maximum tolerable level. Luckily for me, I've got a radiation kit on. New blueprint acquired. Cyclops engine officially module efficiency module. Cool. So I can make the engine more efficient on it as well. Scan. 
Uh, drive through a thick metal shell which breached in multiple locations. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. It should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Well, I've got 50% charged one. Let's try it. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. 10. So I need to find 10 more bits to fix. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. another door. No, it's just a broken bit of the hole. Go this way. Huh? No bits there that need fixing. Looks like we're going underwater then with the angry little eels. Or whatever they are. Bloodfish, it called them, didn't it? There's one. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Another. Containment breach repaired. Further well, breaches detected. Angry leeches. Get off me. Ah, where's my knife? Give knife. repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Get some air back. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There. See, it said a fully charged repair tool, but I don't know. The most of them. Breach repaired. Further Almost on all of them. Lied. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Two left, so this one. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches uh, detected. This one. Fixed it. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Cool, so I'll actually be able to take the radiation stuff off soon. And I'll be able to put the, the rebreather back on. Is there anything scannable down here? I have plenty of water. 
I just hope I find some food at some point around here. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. So we fixed the engine on the ship, so it's not going to lead radiation, leak radiation everywhere, and kill all the wildlife. Now, what else can we find on this thing? I'm not going to watch out for this door. I am. See, we can't kill this little asshole first. So we're going to the prawn bay and the locker room. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Now let's all stare directly at the arc cutter while it's cutting. Ruin our eyes. Now we're in. Time to steal everybody's stuff from the locker room. Auxiliary mission orders. New PDA data. Mission search and rescue. Oh, we had a search and rescue mission as well. Crew of the Mongolian vessel, vessel Degasi. Could you hear that TTS all right then? It was playing up a bit earlier while I was trying to test it. And yeah, I can always reduce it, I just can't be bothered. You couldn't hear it. Oh, it did this last time. Duh, 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 duh. I'll troubleshoot you. Could you hear that one? Yeah, it's done the same thing it did last time. It's playing the um oh, battery. So the TTS is playing not through the Audio for now. Yeah, that works. I can hear it at least. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, for some reason, in Streamlabs, it's the TTS is part of the desktop audio rather than the actual TTS um, browser source thing. Do more firefighting. This is called the Prawn Bay, apparently. Cool. Picking 
up a faint black box signature oh. originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. I can actually get one of these suits. That's cool. I'm gonna get a mech suit, Dave. Other bits. These are flame grill prawns at the moment. I will take that. And then there's this one covered in fire. Wonder if I can get to it from above or something. Or can I do more jumping puzzles to get up there? There. Got it. Prod suit. That sounds cool. I'm going to have an underwater mech. So, living quarters is this way. What do we have? We have more water. Do we have any food? I'm actually running, running low on food at the moment. Empty cups, more water, food. Give me that food. Straight back to full. And there's more of them there as well. Cool. Got shit tons of water. Your canteen. Can't pick up the wine or the snack machine. I can scan the shelves. Shelves will come in handy when I can build a base. Near blueprint acquired. Fangra world best. Can't read what that's supposed to be. Can't cut this or anything, can I? No. Oh, look, another fire extinguisher. Today's menu Space Bear Volute. Since their introduction into the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tardigrades or space bears have adapted and flourished where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein rich soup. They are the freshest local ingredient available to travellers on long haul flights. Uh, for the main, you've got a cottage pie. Move this over a bit so you can see it better. Cottage pie or nutrient block. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy served with a topping of mashed Chinese potato. Picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds. And a side of salted Chinese potato plant leaves. The time conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on site fabricator. And now we've got dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in a combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. So fruits and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. So somebody spaced all the ice cream. Bet they were popular. <gasps> Keep up. Oh, I'm having this poster. Anything else useful in here? Won't let me scan the tables or anything. No. Sneak around the edge of all the fire. Your door that won't open. Your door that won't open. 
Let's go left. We've got a door with a passcode. You can scan the bed though. More water. Is that a backpack I can carry? I wonder if I put all my water in here. And then can I just... Oh, that is rubbish. So it is literally just a storage container. I'll leave the water there anyway. So I've got tons of water, so I don't need any more. It's just a loot box. I was hoping that was like a... Oh, so I can pick it up. But it has to be empty for us to do it. Yeah. There. Eat all the nuts. Every nut there is. Go. Cabin. Captain's quarters. Don't think I've found any cords for these yet, have I? Blueprints, prawn suit, data downloads, codes and clues. Cabin number one, the code is 1869. Cabin two, captain, cabin one. So, one, eight, six, nine. And we're in. Double bed. New blueprint acquired. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stuff. We engage in human relationships where there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. Is this, is this talking about prostitution? It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of goods, source of the goods they require, they are not wrong in their original supply by changing. Oh, so they're just talking about hopping around with people. One member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous. They must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. <laughs> there is always room for improvement. Nice. Cap. Can I wear the cap? I don't think I can. No. So they're basically saying if your partner is not satisfied, it is your fault and you should just get good. And if they go looking elsewhere, it is entirely your fault. <gasps> I'm taking that. to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. 
Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> what a bitch. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, that fire can stay there, it's not in anybody's way. More battery. Still not found any way into the captain's cabin. Oh, another poster. Inventory is getting a bit full. Um, eat some more food. Drink some more water. All those batteries we've got now. So I don't think I got. I didn't. I didn't get any. Cord for the captain's quarters or anything. No. Maybe I have to go looking elsewhere for those. Just double check. Oh, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing in here. Does sound a bit like Beth Ash. You get access to your Twitch again properly again then. Right, what else were we gonna find? So we found everything down here. Is there anything useful in here? I see more of the ship we can get to. It's up here. Door. And more fire. This looks like some sort of radar room. Ooh, what's this? Black box. Integrating new PDA data. Initiated sling. Right. I realised last time that my air goes down while I was a pause menu, so let's go up here a bit. Initiated slingshot remover around 4546B, four, four, so that's where we are. High velocity energy pulse de detected on the planet's surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Alteran at Listening Boy via Long Cane. Life pod pays on starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transfer to Captain Hollister. Life pods 1 to 25 launched successfully, entering planetary atmosphere. 
massive impact registered drive core shield compromised emergency bearing spectra received from eight life pods so out of 25 life pods only eight have sent signals back human life signs detected on a long range at t plus t8 plus hours one personnel unaccounted for non-essential systems maintenance chief riley robinson Altera HQ solution received at T plus 8 hours, high priority terminal and captain's quarters. So I need to get into the captain's quarters. Yeah, while we're in this menu, oxygen and everything like that still goes down. So we have the black pot. Well, there are apparently instructions in the captain quarters, we just need to get there. Right, let's go get some more oxygen from this room. Yet another door with a keypad lock on it. What's this? Lab access. Integrating new PDA. Need to treat your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. Door code is 6483. Well, that looks like a data coil. So, let's try... Six, four, eight, three. Did it. This place looks pretty wrecked. For anything useful? Non-functional. Yeah, I found those two before ages ago. A large sample flask. Does it have any use? Useless glass container. No, I can go away. PDA? What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? That's more research stuff. We'll look at that later when we're not underwater and about to drown. Oh, data terminal. Acquired. Oh cool, that's the repulsion cannon. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. So let's see what's through here. Oh, it just leads the same way. But I don't think I found any more... Oxygen. Whoop. Didn't find any more codes, did I? Not just the lab access one there. Um, let's go up this way. Huh? That door is closed. A way out. It is. I just can't get out this way yet. Huh? But yeah, that's what we need the repulsion cannon for. So there's no code for the captain's quarters in here that I've found anyway. But I found the black box. But. Black box. Do 
five core shielding breach. They're just random pamphlets and stuff. But there's no code for the captain's quarters. Mm. And apparently there's important stuff in there. I just can't get to it. Oh, that's just to close the door. Looks like we're going to have to find it somewhere else. Maybe it's on like a bit of wreckage or something. Bet you that's what it is, you know, that like high priority crew member or whatever they're called that is one of these markers somewhere. 5.12 one of these markers, like radio signals, was a high priority crew member or something like that. Bet you they've got a card or something. Because I've definitely not seen it anywhere on here. No PDA on the floor or something that I've missed. No. Uh, I think it's a case of finding it somewhere else and getting it. Head back to our little little escape submarine. Oh no, it's PDA here I've missed. I'm an idiot. Integrating new PDA data. That's just a, a log. No. Ah, we got some cool stuff at least. Got the prawn suit. Just need to find out what I need to actually build the thing. Bet it's expensive, it's a mech suit. Means we're going to have to come back here at some point as well. There. I'm just double checking now in case I've been dumb. Definitely nothing there. I'll have to find the cord and come back at some point. Or maybe there's like a different bit of it that we've not got into. Anyway. I'll head 
head back over this way and back down to our little submarine. Oh yeah, I wonder if I can put those things in it that I picked up. Bet you I can. Here, access upgrades. So we'll put a depth module. Oh, that was, didn't mean to drop that. Come back, go for the big thing. And then, storage module. Uh, now it has storage and in here we shall put a couple of med kits, a bit of food and some batteries all useful stuff seems like we freeze on my own inventory a little bit as well welcome aboard captain now let's head back to Head back to our little pod and then I think we will finish for the day then. Having explored the ship quite well. Only the captain's quarters and that one other room we couldn't get into. Ooh. Is that a big chunk of titanite? It is. Special equipment is required. So yeah, we're going to head back to our little escape pod. See what it makes to takes to build our prawn suit, our mech. And then I think we will end for the day. Oh, that's just the sound of one of the, the reef backs over there. Another bit of ship I need to explore there as well. So it's pretty much straight east from our pod. Is it straight east? It's not really. It's uh. Oh, yeah, it is. Here is our builder thing. Prawn suits. We need enameled glass, aerogel, plastic ingots. We need more diamonds. We need two lead. I think we can. I think we've got all that apart from the diamonds. You know. I've got another radio signal. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Mm -hmm. We've got a repulsion cannon. I need the bits for a Propulsion cannon. Aircraft engine efficiency module. 
still don't have the things to make a proper base. But a bioreactor. Bad shelves and stuff. Stress level has been received from Lifehold 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analysed. Approximately one kilometre southwest of the Aurora's stern. So. Well, we didn't get round to building a base, but we still need to find like the, the multifunction room or whatever it's called, and then we'll be able to. But, for now, that shall be us done. Remember to save the game. There. So I will be ending it here. I'm going to go in search of food as well, but I think Alex should be starting up very shortly, unless he's always oh, already started a couple of minutes ago. So we will raid on over to Alex and say hello. Um, he's playing Super Mario 64. He's on his way to get all the stars for it. So go and say hello to Alex. Um, I will be back again on Saturday doing more Dark Souls and I'm in the hell that is Blight Town so you can enjoy me seeing me die a lot there but I will see you all soon and thanks for watching everybody and yeah if any of you get the chance uh, to play Subnautica play it yourselves as well because it's a lot of fun even if that big snake leviathan thing did scare the shit out of me well see you all soon and bye bye